Wipro has reported earnings in line with estimates that should lead the foundation for a good FY20. Revenue momentum has been improving and management commentary suggests a stable demand environment. Let's do a three-point analysis to find out if Wipro is an ideal defensive bet for investors. One, what are the key positives in Wipro's Q4 earnings? Wipro has reported a 1% growth in constant currency in revenue at about $20-75 million on the back of strong deal bin as well as the pipeline. The company also expects FY20 to be a better year than FY19. It expects growth to meaningfully revive from the second quarter of FY20. Growth was largely driven by the key markets of Americas. In terms of verticals, financial services continue to perform. Not only is the growth extremely healthy, even in terms of margin, it has shown an improvement to 21% at the end of FY19. Consumer and energy and utilities has also contributed meaningfully. And communications also appears to be back on its feet. However, adjusted margin in the final quarter of FY19 stood at 19.2%, a sequential decline of 60 basis points. Now, given the muted revenue guidance and wage hike in Q1, the near-term outlook may remain a tad subdued. Utilization remains high and marketing expenses have been optimized, so revenue traction along with currency will be margin tailwinds going ahead. Two, what are the big concerns for Wipro? Well, the share of digital for Wipro stood at a healthy 34.8% at the end of FI19, but grew relatively softer than the larger peers. Now, the company also expects revenue from its IT services business to be in the range of 2046 to about $2,087 million, which translates to a sequential growth of minus 1 to 1%. The management also alluded to seasonality, competition of large projects and delayed ramp-up of some other behind the rather weak guidance. Now, the tightness in the labour market and the continued high uh, attrition rate of about 17.6% are the other key concerns. 3. What's the outlook on the company? Well, Wipro has not only outperformed Nifty as well as BSE IT index in the past one year, but also its peers like Infosys and TCS. The company has also announced a 10,500 crore rupee buyback at, the, at a premium of close to 15% from the prevailing market price of Wipro. While the near-term muted guidance was a tad disappointing, the management commentary on demand and FY20 growth outlook is definitely encouraging. With a valuation at 16.5 times its FY20 estimated earnings, Money Control Research believes that a hefty payout protects the downside for the stock in the medium term. Thank you.